Alrighty guys, so we have Madden 24 officially out guys. I'm telling you what, I am pumped up for it. We gotta hop into it straight away. First of all, if you guys are excited for Madden 24, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, commenting down below, turning on post notifications because you're never going to miss an upload. We got some fire videos coming out today. Um, last night, the servers were cooked. I just went to bed. I wasn't going to mess around with it. I didn't even have my pre-order stuff, so I figured, hey, early morning, I'll pump out a video for you guys. And we're going to open these pre-order rewards. You guys can see right here, we got some fun packs to open. Um, this one right here, I grinded out a few solos last night just to kill some time. Um, who would I take out of this pack? I think definitely Isaiah Likely is the pick right here. Huge card with um, great speed as a tight end. The Donald Parm of this year, I believe. I don't know if I can upgrade him right away. We will see. Um, but these should be fun cards. I believe they go up to 85 overalls. I don't have any training right now. And yes, they do go up to 85 overalls. Isaiah Likely, probably the best card to pick out of that overall, though. Whatever. It's an 85 tight end at the end of the day. It should be a fun card. Season 3 starter pack. Obviously, this contains Jalen Ramsey. Nothing crazy right here. There we go. Jalen Ramsey. Cannot quick sell him. And the quick sell tip is 25 coins. So there's that card if you are interested, which you should be. It's a three, free 83 overall at the beginning of the year. We also have this loyalty reward pack, which no one knew was coming. But you get one of these 80 overalls, which include Cordero Patterson. We got Anthony Walker. We also have Devon something, uh, Christian Kirk, JC Jackson, and Jared Goff. For me personally, I'm going to go with the defensive tackle just for a little depth. This position I'm probably not going to have a ton of, so we're going to go with him. And finally, the early board deluxe digital edition packs. Here we go. 83 Josh Allen. A little disappointing it's only an 83, but it's all right. Um, we got the rest right here. We got ourselves... Um, strategy fantasy pack will open this one first see what we get out of here i believe it's all the same um abilities and we're gonna go with i think power rush and we're gonna get our quarterback running gun just some quick strategy items it's all right and um we're also going to hop into we'll hop into the hall of fame pack next um for me i'm thinking about it right now we don't have rookie premieres so you need to keep that in mind ronde barber has a has a team captain's card. No reason to get this card. Darrell Revis would be a really nice pick. Joe Thomas, a good left tackle, but once again, once rookie premieres come out, not going to need them. Darrell, Demarcus Ware is going to be a really good card. Zach Thomas, Joe Klecko, and Chuck Halley, for me at least. I'm going to go to Marcus Ware. I feel like that's the best pick for me. He has incredible stats. I know a lot of people like this card a lot. Demarcus Ware, in my opinion, is the pick. And finally, we have the AKA pack. Now, what, who do I want out of this? This is a tough decision. We got Sauce Gardner and Jay Jettas. Although Sauce is a super tall corner, I just think there's so many corners in the game. You think about it, we got Jalen Ramsey, AJ Terrell's going to be earned somewhat early in the competitive pass, I believe. We got some great corner rookie premier cards. For wide receivers, not nearly as much. The DeAndre Hopkins isn't an incredible card out of the field pass. Well, he'll still be on my team, probably. You know, he's not one of the most overpowered cards in the game. Um... Besides that, who else do we get? We get some rookie premier cards. I think Jay Jettis is the move. I think getting him, he's going to help me with solo challenges, help me grind them out pretty easily. I think Jay Jettis is the mood. Move, not mood, jeez, <laughs> is the move. Um, but yeah, then that Josh Allen right there. Then we have 4,600 Madden points. Uh, I was originally going to save them all, but I figured, hey, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a pack opening today. And I think I'm going to do the weekly Elite Platinum cards, get some coins under my belt as well. This one right here, 29% at an 82 plus, that'd be super nice. If we even pull an 80 plus, that'd be a W. We're going to open these two and the Pro Weekly Elite Fantasy Pack. Here we go. If we get an Elite Teron Armstead, that's a fairly good card, I believe. That might go for a little bit right now. 40K or no? That's a good start, man. This is a good decision to open this pack. But let's see what our Platinum cards are. Be some Elites. Gold, 79 Zach Allen, and... Another gold right here. 279s, though. We'll take it. 18,000 coins under our belt and an 83. That is a massive W. Next one right here. Let's see what we get. I also haven't decided if I'm just going to go no money spent this year or, you know, minimal money spent. I might transition to minimal. Headliners player right here, 78. And we got 80 Juju. All right. Um, 20,000 coins right there. We'll take it. And this final one, I'm not exactly sure what's in. Um, the weekly pro elite pack, um, 70% chance, it's, yes, I cannot speak, 
70% chance at an 82 plus and 18% chance at an 84 plus, 280 plus, and 478. So let's just pull like three or four elites out of this pack. That'd be a W in my opinion. Here we go. We got a gold right here. Whatever. Another gold. Come on. We don't like to see the golds. There's the elite, Byron Murphy Jr. That's an L. Elite right here, 81. Another elite, 81, and a gold. Okay. Right here, we get ourselves 81K, though. Not bad. Plus the Tron Armstead. Uh, I think that was worth it. We got ourselves basically 200K. I can get myself a Kenny Pickett if I want, which I might end up doing. Um, but I think what I'm going to do later is I'm going to roll the 74-plus Headliners Player Pack for you guys. I think that's the wave. I'm going to save the rest of my points right now, probably for these um, special offers as we unlock them. Level 5, we get this Playmaker Pack. I'm not exactly sure what's in it. Um, then two times at level 10, so I'm going to try to maybe reach that today if it's possible. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things here that seem like solid offers so i'm gonna try to grind them out um this one right here i might not pick up it probably won't be anything crazy that might be the only one i skip out on but besides that all these other ones seem fairly solid so let me know what you guys think if you guys do enjoy the video like subscribe comment down below turn on post notifications man 24 hype stay tuned for new new videos today and all year and i'm ntg peace out